Hi guys, I have some um, thoughts on this makeup look. This is one of those days where I was just not feeling myself. I looked at me, here's, here's the before. I was so tired. Porter was going through some kind of leap. He was not sleeping very well. We were not sleeping. He got a bit sick. It was a lot, but it was Hamish and I's wedding anniversary. This was filmed like a month ago. I thought I would obviously put on some makeup. Hamish's mum was coming over to look after Porter and we were just planning a date night. So I wanted to look and feel good, but my hair needed a wash. I did not have the energy. Like, is it just me or does it take you hours to do your hair well maybe not hours but like at least an hour so I just decided to kind of work with what I had I put in some tangle treatment stuff because my hair gets so tangled my hair's not thick but I've got a lot of hair and because it's so long it just tangles man oh my gosh honestly this day was an absolute mare like you can just see it on my face can't you I actually thought hmm, maybe I shouldn't upload this video or like use this footage that's why I've been sitting on it for a while but at the same time look I just found a freaking gray like how's that for timing anyway I thought you know this is reality not every time I do my makeup do I feel perfect about it not every day do I feel like a perfect human being it's just life it's being a human you know so hopefully you guys can relate a little bit and let's watch just the disaster unfold I also didn't have any energy whatsoever to fake tan <laughs> so I was like it's fine I'm just going to put on my makeup and I'll wear a high neckline you know obviously I wasn't going to wear this t-shirt I ended up wearing like the most chill outfit to dinner though because I just couldn't find anything I felt good in either. Like it just carried on and carried on. So I just kept it simple. I just straightened my hair. It looks way better. Sculled some water. And do you know what? Like looking back, I bet the reason I felt so gross as well is because of my roots. Like look how bad my roots look here. But I think it was the day after this I ended up getting my roots done anyway, which obviously made such a difference. I don't know about you, but I hate when my roots are so stark like this. I've only recently gone back so super blonde because before I kind of had like the deeper roots so it grew out really nicely I don't know I don't know if I want to go back to that or keep it bright and blonde because it is fun but I just hate the regrowth man my self-care was at a zero so I had breakouts that I needed to treat so I did that quickly brushed up my brows and why is it that whenever we're not feeling confident we do dumb stuff with our makeup and not dumb because normally it would be fine but today I was like I'm gonna do some random stuff and like underpaint and like blah 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 and oh my god don't even get me started this under eye corrector though looks so bomb look how well it blends in with my natural skin tone I feel like I could even use it with no other makeup like that's how perfect the corrector shade is for me also if you're wondering about my voice right now it's so raspy because my hay fever is next level anyone else struggling right now with life this hay fever is unreal literally I'm about to move to Australia because it's just awful anyways like I said I thought today would be a great day just to like experiment in my mind I was thinking I'm just gonna take my time and like chuck on some random makeup and have fun with it but no I should have just done tried and true makeup like what am I even doing oh my god honestly I'm being a bit dramatic like it ends up looking okay I mean you saw the makeup in the intro and in the thumbnail right like it looks okay but I just felt so cakey I felt like my skin looked so old and aged like it just <sighs> and I think I should have just kept it simple so I blended this bronzer just around like where I wanted to underpaint but then I kind of didn't underpaint and what I did was I just used concealer everywhere else and kind of left the contour slash bronzer visible instead side note I do love this concealer I actually think it's so good but um oh my gosh I'm watching this back and I'm just like just take it off start again this kind of makeup like what I'm doing right now gives me vibes of when you're a teenager and you would be like having a shower at night right so you'd like do this crazy makeup like practice your makeup before you hopped in the shower this is what this gives me that's that's the vibe I'm getting did anyone else do that or does anyone else still do that because that was like honestly one of my favorite things to do <laughs> like when I get new makeup and stuff I just like toss it on and it's so weird like obviously now I don't do that anymore because I film YouTube videos trying out stuff for the first time it's like a whole different evolution oh my gosh look at this I left that in because it looked so horrendous that little angle right there you're welcome anyway I just kept blending and blending until it looked somewhat good and then I was like oh let me just set it with some bronzer like instead of doing powder I don't know I just thought this would look good and it kind of looks okay but it just 
like everything just looks heavy and my skin wasn't looking its best anyway because like I said self-care was just not a thing because there was lots of stuff happening but it's fine you know it was just a little phase and it's okay and we're all okay now why didn't I just do some nice serum light coverage you know foundation and just call it a day that would have looked so much nicer I reckon at the end of the day Hamish said I looked beautiful I don't know if he was lying or not but it was really nice. We move on. I put on some blush, put on some highlighter. Oh my gosh, side note guys, one of my next videos is going to be a declutter. I'm so excited. I um, tidied up my room the other day because I wanted to like put all of my makeup away obviously for the declutter. So get excited. I know you guys love my declutter series. I think this is like my first declutter series in this house. So yeah, definitely overdue. Anyways, moving on to the eyes, I wanted to do like a soft glam because I don't know, by this point I was just like, oh, I feel like I'm caked in makeup and I just wanted to keep the eyes nice and light. So I went in with the Beauty Bible palette and I just did like a really light color scheme. Um, so a bit of brown in the crease and I just made sure to blend it very, very, very well. Have you guys been using eyeshadows lately? If so, which ones, which palettes? I want to know because I want to buy some new eyeshadow palettes or are you using old eyeshadow? palettes should I reach into my collection and like pull out some old ones I don't know I need some inspo like obviously there's been a few new fun palettes that I've been loving colorful ones but yeah I don't know I just feel like I'm in a rut with eyeshadow does anyone else feel that way lately is it just trends I don't know I went in with my finger to apply this shimmer shade just to make it a bit more intense and then of course because this is date night with Hamish and if you know you know he loves a bright inner corner so every time we have date night or anything like that I always do a very very bright inner corner so I went in with one of those Colourpop Valentine's Day Jelly Pop eyeshadows that I'm just obsessed with I love these so much. I've mentioned them in like heaps of my recent videos because they're just so fun. I'm not sure if you can still get them or, you know, these specific shades, but I just, I don't know. I'm loving the texture of the Jelly Pop lately. It's so fun. It's giving Stila Magnificent Medals. And you know what? That era of YouTube slash beauty trends and makeup was just so much fun. Oh my God, bring it back. What's Stila up to these days? Is Stila still around? I haven't actually like looked at that brand in so long. Remember how much I used to absolutely love the primer? I think Emco Beauty has a dupe for it now. I need to try it. I did a little smoky liner, which was also dumb because I should have just done a wing. It would have probably made me feel a bit better and balanced out the dramatic skin. And a secret guilty pleasure, pulling this gross goopy shit out of the lid of my duo lash glue. Anyone else love doing that? It's so satisfying. Brightening up my waterline because like I said, I was tired, girl. <laughs> and then I clicked. There's a freaking sharpener in the lid. I don't think I've ever actually used it. Like I always knew it was there, but I never used it. And I've been bitching about not having a pencil sharpener for like the last however many weeks and you know what when I cleaned my beauty room did I find my pencil sharpener no I didn't so god knows where it's gone I'm popping on some lashes under my natural lashes because I just could not be bothered trying to get them to stick to the top I find under is easier when you're working with clusters and it looks natural it's like lash extensions and my lashes were not giving today I don't know what it was I think my mascara is just a bit dried out because normally I love that mascara but my lashes just looked like so pathetic so I just needed to put on some lashes and I do think this helps like if you see this before and after you know it looks natural still but it just looks fluffier fuller and better and I remember I couldn't find my lash applicator tweezers so I'm using these sharp AF ones near my eyes and I've got so much anxiety but thankfully I did not poke my eye out so that's good I'm taking off my lip balm off my lips so that they're nice and prepped for the lip combo and this was just a disaster too I started with amber and it's not sharp so it was just annoying to apply but that's fine um, I love this color I do but I should have just gone with nude straight away because that's what I needed in my life for today I just needed a combo that is in my comfort zone you know like a nice nude I should have just done a nice nude straight away but I started with this color and actually in hindsight I could have put a nude like a paler nude on the inside and blended the colors together would look perfect with this eye makeup but instead I went in with this gloss thing it's like a tint or like lip stain kind of vibe and it's actually beautiful with the right makeup look I think or like if I didn't have much makeup on I think it would look so pretty but of course, today I was like, what the heck? So then I was like, oh, let me put some nude on top of it. And it definitely helped. I was feeling a little bit more like comfortable in my lip color. But I was like, mm, it's not quite right. Let me like 
pinking, pinking, that's not really a word, pinking up the lip line a little bit with Blossom Lip Pencil. I was like, oh yeah, that's a bit better. It's a little bit softer. And then I was like, let me just like make this matte. I don't like the creaminess. And instead of like taking off my lip combo, I just piled everything on top of one another. I don't know. Honestly, I work in mysterious ways sometimes. So mysterious that I don't even know what the heck I am doing. So that's good. Anyways, I added more blush because I just wanted to feel fresher. So I was like, maybe blush will help. And then I put a little bit in my eye makeup as well, just to like freshen up the eye look a little bit, make it look a little bit more like youthful or something. I don't really know, but that's the finished makeup look. Um, I'm trying to put on a brave face. I did not like it. It's not even that bad. When I look back in hindsight, I actually went back and like softened my um, finger quote eyeliner. That's not really eyeliner. I just softened that because I looked a bit stupid let's be honest and now that I've got the gift of hindsight I also think you know if I actually went in with some longer lashes even darken my brows a little bit and maybe darken the crease a little bit it would look perfect I just think that the skin looks too strong with like the rest of my features so that's the look I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video anyway you know I'm just a human I'm only human after all and sometimes I hate my makeup so I'm gonna stop now goodbye Don't forget to